Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everything's good with you guys. So today I have decided to react on Gary Moore Still Got the Blues Live. So if you want to see my reaction, then please keep on watching.
I know this song and I really like this song. But seeing this song be performed by Gary Moore live is a completely different thing. The level of emotions and the vocals, it's, it's just the next level. You will never be able to get that feeling from hearing a recording. Because I do know how it sounds, I do know that it's great. Like, no question about it. But, now that I have seen him actually perform this song live, once again I have to say this was 100 times better than the actual recording. Because I was able not only like, to see his passion for what he does, and it came off both ways while he was singing with so much passion, as well as when he was playing the guitar. So many emotions came through. He was enjoying himself so much, and that's the thing you will never be able to hear throughout the recording. The vocals, they were insane. So powerful, straight away going into the song already. Even if he was singing slightly quieter or maybe not using as much power as he needs to while he's performing, for instance, the chorus, there you need more power, right? But then he needs to go back down and be a little bit more soft with his vocals. It's such a hard song to sing exactly because of the way it has been built. You need a lot of power to be able to sing this song, as well as you need to have a really good voice control. And you need to be able to sing softly, but at the same time with the power which is really hard to do. And on top of all of that are his emotions and everything that he did. I absolutely loved it. I think the, the moment when he starts to play the guitar, that's when he started to feel emotions going through himself, like even more. At least from what I saw, that was the part where he just like went off. And I love to see that. I just love seeing musicians not only sounding better live than on the actual recording, but also when I'm able to see the passion and the power, the ability to bring so much to the table while performing live. I love to see that. I don't like to see when people sound great on a record, but then they come and then I go to a concert because I like this artist and I like this song or a few songs and the artist just sucks while performing live. This is something where I would go 100,000%. This was such a great performance. I love Gary Moore. I know a lot of songs from him. Definitely, I don't know a lot of songs from him as well, but I do know a lot of songs as well and this is such a good song. He has so many good ones. But the fact that I was able to hear him sing live for the very first time today and the fact that he was so brilliant at it, I'm so happy. Because music is so close to my heart and it's pretty much love of my life, it's so important to me that you're able to at least perform the song the same way as the recording or even better in this case. I absolutely loved everything from A to Z. Perfect. Mwah. So this was the title track of Gary Moore's multi-million selling album and was a return to the blues music of his youth. Gary Moore explains, I left Lizzie in 1980 and had a band called G-Force, then got into my solo thing. I found that when I was in my dressing room warming up for a gig, I would be playing blues, so I felt I was getting a bit of a message from that. Around 1989, I started playing blues again. Gary Moore talking about his 1959 Les Paul standard guitar, which he bought in London in 1989. I put it away because I was still doing hard rock at the time, and it wasn't the right guitar for that. But when it came time to do Still Got the Blues, I took it to the studio to test the room. The first day we did Still Got the Blues in one take straight through. It was really a dramatic day. I will never forget it. Actually, I have heard of the name G-Force. And the fact that he was doing rock music beforehand, I'm so excited to see that one as well. Because you can hear in his voice how much power he has. So 
that's not surprising me at all the fact that he actually realized that that's not for him and the fact that when he went his separate way he actually knew who he was to the core and what kind of music he wanted to do because for a lot of artists when they're in a band they're doing pop thing and then they go off like, by themselves and they keep doing pop music and it's really hard for them to find the genre which is fine nothing wrong with that but like it's really hard for them to understand where they fit in, what they want to do, like now that they are not in a band anymore. But Gary Moore was straight away, I'm out of the band, I did hard rock, I know I was good at it, like it was nice. But he always had this love for blues and I feel like his voice is so fit for that genre. His voice is so beautiful, soft, stunning. But the fact that he did hard rock, I want to hear how his voice sounded then. I absolutely love this song and the story is beautiful and I cannot wait to see his performances with the band G-Force Anyways, you guys need to let me know down below in comments on which song should I do a reaction on next and also please let me know down below in comments what did you thought about this performance Thank you guys so much for watching If you enjoyed this reaction video then please like my video subscribe to my channel and until my next video, bye guys